this lecture we are going to look at HTML links so let's get started HTML links we can also as well call them hyperlinks HTML links are hyperlinks and you can click on a link and jump to another document that's the use of a link is to connect you to another document when you move the mouse or over a link when you shall be moving the mouse on top of a link the mouse arrow will be turning to a little hand or a pointing finger as you will see a link does not have to be text so you should always remember that a link is not necessary to be text it can be an image or any html element yeah so you should always know that you can make an image to be html element or at a text or an image an image or any other type of HTML element as long as HTML element it can well it can uh, as well work as a link when you shall practice you'll understand what you mean here so here the syntax that you follow when creating HTML links remember links are in line and uh, they define they are defined with the a tag to create a link it will not create a new line just like paragraph no to remain in the same line that's what it says we call them inline items and it will it is created by a tag this a tag called anchor tag for example we just put a tag and we put inside it an attribute of href so that attribute is where you specify the document that you want to browse to when someone clicks on that link the href attribute specifies the destination address for example if you want if if you want you when someone click on your link you should come to this address so this address you put in the href attribute then the text that will appear on the screen is not this href but the text between these two tags the a tag the the one that will appear on the screen but things in the attribute don't appear on the screen so by clicking on the link it will send you to where this address that you put in the href that's where the link shall take you and uh, we have local links local links we don't need to specify the the, the base of a, of a link we just put the type of a file where it is located and it will take you to where it is don't worry you shall see what we meant by local links when you go to the practice local links so we proceed these HTML links have got different colors as how you'll see for example by default a link which appear like uh, in all browsers is the link that is not visited yet and then visited link is the one that will look in a kind of blue and it will be unlined so that's how most browsers do it if we, a link which you have not visited it will be in a blue and it will be unlined a visited link will be underlined and but it will be in a purple color then an active link is underlined and it will be in a red color so I'd like you to know that formatting HTML link is also possible we can format these HTML links to according to the color that you want but those previous colors are the default colors that come while they are said with HTML we can change the link defaults colors we are using CSS for example if we want to change a link we just put that a tag and put the, li the, the, the colon and put the link and put the code of CSS between this curl bracket and it will change any kind of link if you want to change a link which has been visited only the link that has been visited so we put the a a tag put the double colon the colon then put the word visited and open the curl bracket then this curl bracket will put any code of CSS that you want to affect a link that has been visited we proceed then there is what the hoover hoover is wha when someone moves a mouse over your link how do you want it to look like so you can do that we can target that those kind of links by putting a 
the name of the link then uh, you put the word hover and open the curl bracket and put the format that you want this link to look like when someone moves a mouse over it then you have active link and that's how we use we set it using css that's how we target it so you proceed html links or html links they can be open in different targets of windows browsers as, as how we need for example the target attribute will help us to specify the linked document where it should open from we may have blank if you put a blank a target attribute if we set it to blank the link opens in the link in the link document but in a new tab if you put blank this link will open in a new tab there is another one called self this one will open within the link itself with I mean within the same tab but and this one is always by default you don't need to specify this if it's not necessary self it will open within itself if you set the target if you take the target if you set the target attribute to self we have another one called parent the parent opens the linked document in the parent frame and the top it will open the linked document in the full body of the window so don't worry we're going to discuss this and you'll see how we're going to practice this in real coding and you'll see how they function but just get this information and know how they work so HTML links can be used to create a bookmark example HTML bookmarks are used to allow readers to jump in specific spaces or in, in specific parts of a website I don't know whether you have ever visited any website outside there but you click on a certain on a certain link and it takes you within the same website within the same page but in a specific place so those are called HTML bookmarks and we use that using the power of a link when the link is great is clicked the page will scroll to the location where the bookmark needs first create we first create a bookmark this is uh, with an ID attribute and then for example we can say this is the heading number two and give it IDC for for chapter four and then we create a link that will make the that will make when someone clicks on that link it should take him to chapter form that's how we create html bookmarks for example that's how we make it we just put the anchor link anchor tag and refer this id of chapter 4 in as as, as the link so it will open within the document then there will also external links i mean external bookmarks we shall come to them when we go to coding so before we begin our summary let us go to the text editor and practice what we have discussed in this lecture so I'll switch to my sublime text I believe everyone can do this at this point so I'll begin by saving I'll save this one as this is which lecture I think it's 11 I'll save it at, as 11 underscore home home dot html I have the reason why I save it as home uh -huh. then I'll create another another file and save it as um, 11 let's go 11 let's go then I'll save it maybe about as dot html then another one I'll save it as 11 underscore uh, contact us contact us dot html so our task is we are going to link these three documents so we shall begin by creating the basic html by just simply typing the word html and press the tab key i think everyone can do this at this point if you cannot do this then i recommend you to go to our previous video tutorials or video lectures and see how we do this so we shall begin by this maybe saying this is home this will appear in the tab 
as a tab name then we begin maybe by putting here welcome home just put here a h1 link a h1 tag and say welcome home welcome home okay then let us put here maybe then we shall put uh, a link to take you to about us page and uh, the contact page to do this we just put a the tag then in href is where we shall specify the other uh, the link where someone clicks and it should take him to there so we put here this exact name that we used to save uh, this file so which is about us underscore html okay I've copied it on my clipboard then I'll paste it here then this will not appear on the screen but any word that I'll write here the one that appears that, that that will appear on the screen for example I can say read more about us so it means that you can use any word to represent the link that you have put in the href but when someone clicks it will take him to this link so I'll create another link so this title is the one that will appear when someone hovers over so I can put here about us about us page okay but it's not necessary you can still leave it but this one is just as a tooltip so we shall create another link then in this href we shall put maybe contact us press control shift s then I'll copy this then I'll come back to the home and paste here the contact us so here I can say uh, contact page contact page and this will be as a tooltip and we s between the link tags now you can put what you want the user to see and uh, now here we can say get in touch with us get in in touch with us okay and remember link is an inline item it will not break these lines so let's break it by ourselves okay so I'll copy the same code by pressing ctrl a and ctrl c then I'll click on the about us tab and paste the same code so I'll come and just change this instead of putting here home I'll put here about us about us okay then here I'll say uh, maybe you can say this is who we are okay then here I will not again link to itself I have to link back to the home page and link the home page maybe I'll have to put the name here that we used here to save I'll copy it and then come here and select this one and paste it here I'll put here maybe home page home page and here between this link I'll put maybe uh, uh, maybe say just back home I'll just put home no problem so that's it and if someone clicks here it should be taken to they contact us I'll again copy the same code and complete this by pasting it in the contact us page and I'll change this one maybe to contact us contact us contact us then I will I will put here maybe some interesting words so we, sh we shall be happy to hear from you okay that's the contact us page and with from the contact us page you can go back home and uh, from the home from the contact us page again you cannot come back to the contact us page maybe you should put the link that will bring you back maybe to the about us so I'll copy only this about us uh, about us link this one and put it here to the instead of contact us I'm going to put about us here okay so get the um, where is it where is it where is it where is it okay I think this is about us 
So you get the concept. Instead of putting again contact us, we should put about us, which will bring you back to the about us, um, which is this one. Okay. So I'll come and remove this and put this. So I think here we have fully, we have fully connected our document. We from one any page you can simply navigate to the other page. So let us execute this code of HTML and see how it works. So I'll right click in space and say open a browser. It will open a in, in a default browser. I'll try to zoom so that you can see properly. So I can see welcome home and that is home. If I click on about us, it will take me to the about us page. You can see. Okay. This is who we are. I click on get in touch with us then you can see this is get in touch with us so you can see the links that we have visited are in kind of purple and the link that we had not visited uh, we are in what we are in blue but almost the every link we have really visited it so there will be all of them they'll be in purple okay so I hope that you can s also simply you can also make such a simple an application at this point okay if you cannot make it then put your problem in comment section where you get the problem from and we shall discuss about it so let us proceed you are going to put now an external link what if you want to go maybe when someone click to google or when someone click to a link you should take them to google or to a facebook page to do that first of all maybe just make an a tag and maybe put facebook.com i'm going to show you one problem facebook okay then I'll put here uh, our Facebook our Facebook page our Facebook page then maybe say connect with us on Facebook connect with us on Facebook okay I'll save I'll come back I refresh I click home you see connect with us on Facebook let me try to break it here so that you can see it properly okay so I refresh connect with us on Facebook so you can see the link that you have not visited is in a blue color the link that you have visited is in a purple color so if I click here it will tell you that the page does not exist yet Facebook is existing let me first connect to internet you may see the problem is internet okay so I click on Facebook still the page is not existing why it's because it is considering this facebook to be a local link a local link these are links that are already in our page in our file now if you want to make an external link like the one that you have got for example facebook is an external link it is not in our page you have not created any page called facebook so to make that we have to specify the root of facebook we have to put maybe www.facebook.com so when you make a complete URL of Facebook then we'll be able to take you to Facebook so I'll come and refresh and take click here now still it's not working so as we're reading here you have to put HTTPS okay hypertext transfer protocol then put colon and double slash then and put the www that the name of the website and dot com so here it will know that this will tell the browser that this link is not our link is an external link so or we'll search it in an external source so from here it will take us outside our page so let us go back and refresh now just click on Facebook you can see it is loading and it is going to connect us to Facebook you know Facebook is a bit heavy that's why it is taking time so that is how we create internal and external link as you can see it has done what it has connected us to facebook so i'll go back because that's how we make external link that's how we make external links and that's how we connect external links to our pages you must specify the http or https the the the, the, the root of the of the link otherwise it will not work so we proceed we said that 
these links we can also format them in different color and we use the a then underscore I mean there's a double colon and the nature of a link then we, we target it so we shall put here our style that is CSS remember CSS is always put in the head okay then we begin for example if we want to format all visited links should be having a green color to do this we say a then put the colon and maybe I, I mean and put the word visited visited okay then open the color bracket and start formatting as you say that you said color represent what a text color so maybe you need these colors to look green okay and the watch and uh, and maybe to look green and font size to be font size to be 18 pixels okay so that the visited link so this one will point at visited links so if you come and refresh you can see all the links that we have visited they're now in green color and they're having 18 pixels so in other words if we change maybe this name it's now a different link okay i've changed it it's now a different link just go and refresh you can see it is now back in blue color because we have just changed this link it's no longer what it was now let me put here maybe a new link again i'll call it uh, google uh, find us on google so i'll put http s then colon and www dot google google dot com because it is an external link so you have to specify the https so maybe i'll say here gmail okay google g and put here google okay so i'll come back and refresh google is a new link i'll put here i have saved it i have not saved it okay i've visited google maybe change this i want a link that you have not visited today Google, 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 Google. Let me see. We put here BR. We come and refresh. Yeah, we have already visited Google today, so to look in that, in that size, in that type. So which link have we have to visit today? Maybe. I don't know which link. Okay, I'll put. Uh, uh, I'll put YouTube. You. Okay, I just want you to get the concept. I'll put um, Yahoo. Okay, I'll let me put Yahoo.com. Yahoo.com. Then I'll put here Yahoo. It's the one that should appear on the screen. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's just going to refresh. So, still Yahoo is still looking green. I don't know why. Here we are targeting every link. HTTPS www.yahoo.com we come home to take us here let me see what could be the problem yes read more home okay so we proceed now if you need to target the hoover the hoover we say that is when a mouse is moved on a top of a link what should it do to do this we put a and put the colon and put the word hoover okay then we maybe say that when someone points at a link it should change its color to what to red color to red so this is what will happen if we go home and someone points on top of a link you see it is changing the color to red if we point here it is changing it to red it point here it changes it to red so that's what the meaning of the word hoover put a name of the link or the class or the ID how you can specify a link and then put the word hover and specify how it should look like maybe you can say underline and under line text underline then you put it to none okay I'll come this will not work okay so I'll come and refresh. I'll come and refresh. See, 
have not put a semicolon so it is not working okay so a common refresh when you hover over when you hover over a certain item it is changing to the color that we specified here then lastly there is a uh, opening in different uh, different tabs to do that we add another attribute called target for example we need someone to click on uh, Facebook since Facebook is not our own page is an external page you need this page to open in a new tab to do that you add here more attribute called target so I'll write here the word target and put maybe blank there are different attributes if you put blank then this one will open in a different page so let us come back and refresh we refresh and if you click on Facebook what is Facebook you can see it is opening in new page I'll close again I'll show you this is Facebook right is the one that you give it is the one that you give a blank attribute as a target so I'll come and click on Facebook we'll see it is opening in a new window so that's how the attribute of target works so you can also practice other ones like active I mean other ones like self parent and top and see how they perform. Do that as a test or as a test to yourself. Self, parent, target, and to I mean self, parent, and top, and see how they'll perform. So that's how we specify that a link should open a new tab or not. So lastly, in this lecture, we're going to look at bookmarks. Bookmarks we say that they are the one that they help us to specify which which position you need to the user to be taken for example instead of making these three pages one to talk about us another one to to contact us we can simply put all these ones in one page so let me show you how to do it I'll try it right here maybe my lorem P then put lorem okay that will be welcoming us to the visitors okay then within the same page I'll put now the about us section so just remember what you said that separates the sections maybe you can put HR you know now the meaning of HR to show that this is a different section but it's not necessary so we need to put all of them in one page so now I'll get also the, that was a contact us I'll get also the about us and include it I'll put uh, here the HR just help us to differentiate whether we only different section or not HR like this HR then I'll put here the about us and put the what maybe I'll put here some lorem okay I'll write the word lorem ipsum then it will complete my for me those paragraphs and make here another paragraph again and put again some lorem maybe lorem okay and paste the tab key and it will bring for me these paragraphs okay so you now understand let me try to be a little bit strict let me put this on a paragraph okay just put this on the paragraph or like the whole of it then put p then paste it here okay so i believe all everyone can do this so about us page about the section the contact section all of them they're in one page of home so let's just go and refresh from you can see home we have welcome we have about us we have contact us so let us link when someone clicks on now uh, let me try to copy paste again this I want this one to be a little bit bigger so that you can get the concept of what I try to mean so I'll copy this again paste it I need to know what I'm trying to mean so I'm trying to make it a little bit bigger so I'll paste it here come and refresh you can see there are no many pages I mean they're not many a bit a little bit wide okay have about us we have contact us all of them in the same page now let us link these pages within its page now if I want someone to click on about us okay and read more about us 
you shouldn't be taken to another page but you should be taken to this about us to do that we just give this about us an ID we give it an ID I'll just give it an ID to this link uh, no sorry to this h1 I put ID maybe I'll put it about us about us and remember that ID is never having space you cannot put a space within the ID name and it should always be one on the whole page so I'll come here to the you can see I put on about us heading an ID so I'll come here to the about us link where is it where is it here instead of putting this about us I'll remove the whole of it and put the hash and put the about us so this hash will say this page that you're looking for is within this same page this section is within this page just don't go outside but if someone clicks here look for this book this page within this within this section and that's what you call a bookmark so you come and refresh you see about us is now a new link because I've not visited it that's why it is looking that color but this they are who they get in touch with us I had visited them that's why you see they just remain in blue I mean red color like the way from in green color like the way formatted them here so this new link if I click on it you can see about us is on top I'll go back again you see it's the same document I'll just click on about us here look clearly it is this about us has come on top automatically so I don't know if they have ever come to those kind of websites where you click on it and it automatically takes you to specific space a specific section within that same page so that's what we call bookmarking in HTML. So I hope you've got the concept. So still, if I want to link this, um, contact us. Still, you can do the same. The first place so that you can have some more space. So contact us. I'll just give you an ID. Maybe I'll put contact us. Contact us. Got us. I told you that you cannot have a space within the ID so i'll come here to contact us i'll wrap this and put hashtag and put the contact us then i'll refresh save and refresh come and refresh okay so you can see the contact us is now again new thing if i click on contact us you can see contact us heading will automatically come on the top of the browser if i click home of course it will take me to the whole link but if i click on about read more i come and click on contact us so that's how we can navigate your users in different sections of your web page. So the task is you should also try to link when someone clicks on home here, it should be taken back here. That is what you should try. If you get problem in doing that, then I'll put it in the comment section and shall discuss about it. Then lastly, you can also make external link. To make external link or external bookmark, you just put the name of the for example this one I want it to come exactly to a certain section what you do you put here the name of the website for the page that you want and push the hashtag and put the hash then put the ID in that page in this page where you want you use that to come directly to also try that those are two tasks the first task is you should try when someone clicks on home it should be taken back here welcome okay without loading the whole page and the second task is you should link an external ID by someone when someone clicks on a certain ID or a certain link they should take him to the specific place in another page that is the task that I give you today and that makes the end of our coding today. So let's summarize what we've learned today. We use a tag element to define a link. We use href attributes to define the link address. We use target attributes to define where to open the link document. We use img element to inside the a tag to use image as a link. You can do this. Yeah, we are going to look into the next lecture, but still you can do it. 
just make an image and put a tag outside it and that image will work as a link then we use ID attribute to define a bookmark in a page so that are the key posts that what we've covered in this lecture then we use font family to tell the font style then we use href and uh, hashtag I'll call it hashtag it's not hashtag and the hash or a pound okay we use href with a hash pound and put the ID of a specific page we want to navigate to in order to bookmark a certain section in our page so I hope you'll not miss in the next lecture where we are going to look at the HTML images it's going to be interesting lecture I hope to see you there and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well as liking this video if it was useful to you and sharing it and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next lecture where we're going to discuss about images